Hello guys, you're welcome to the channel. So, in today's video I'm going to be discussing the Lazy 8. The Lazy 8 is basically a maneuver we uh, teach a commercial pilot candidates. Uh, here in the U.S. is a maneuver that's required for commercial pilot candidates to demonstrate uh, before they actually get certified as commercial pilots. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to perform the maneuver and uh, the common errors you need to watch out for when performing the maneuver. That way, you'll be able to be, um, you'll be practicing with the you know the right methods and be able to perform it to a satisfactory uh, standard with regards to the FAA standards. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be discussing the Lazy 8. So the Lazy 8 uh, is basically a maneuver. If you're familiar with the S-turn, which is a ground reference maneuver, a ground reference maneuver, the Lazy 8 is almost similar to the S-turn, uh, or with the fact that, for the fact that it's actually two 180 degree turns. So you're basically making a 360 degree turn, but you're kind of like making an S while you're doing that. The only difference, uh, with the main difference between this and the S turn is because uh, during the lazy eight, you're actually going to be climbing and descending at the same time during just one half of the turn, and then you have to do it in the other direction. So, as usual, before you start every maneuver, you know you want to do your clearing turns. So I'll do my clearing turns here to the left. Let's make sure we clear the area of any traffic. And then while I'm doing the clearing turns, I'll make sure I watch out for traffic. Make sure I stay clear of any traffic around me. And I'll also just go ahead and explain a few more things for, for the maneuver. So ideally, you want to pick uh, three, ref four, three reference points. Yeah, three. I'll pick three reference points. I see a traffic over there, so I'm just going to do a 360 degree clearing turn to get away from the traffic guys here so oh. here I'm turning to the west heading so in order to perform the lazy eight you want to pick three points ideally you want to pick a 45 degree point a 90 degree point and a 135 degree point you want to make this point you know visual so over there I see like a lake of I see some warehouses over here I do see another lake I could use over there for my 135 degree point so the whole goal of the maneuver really is to you know, slowly start a climb and then let the nose drop to the sand and then just bring it back to the horizon level. So try to climb here to maintain my altitude. I start the maneuver. So I'll be starting the maneuver here on the west heading and I'll pretty much be finishing the maneuver on the west heading. Right, my altitude will be about 2,500. I'll also try to finish within that and my airspeed should be close to my maneuvering speed of about 90 knots so i'll try to increase my airspeed up to about 90 knots right here i'm coming up to 90 knots right here perfect so i kind of kind of missed some of my points but yeah there's still i'll just change up my points out my 45 over there by the lake another 90 degree point and a 135 degree point over there. So I have my points, I have my altitude and my speed, everything is all set up. So one of the most important things is the setup. So before I lose my points, I'll start the maneuver. So you slowly want to start by just at least pitching the nose up and turning about 15 degree bank. So at your 45 degree point, you want your highest pitch and you keep the bank going and slowly let the pitch start coming down so that's my and over there my nose is cutting through the horizon and I let the nose drop my 135 is my lowest pitch right there and I just hold it a bank coming I hold it right there I roll out on a 180 degree heading then I slowly do the same thing to the right side so bank about 15 degree bank pitch the nose up but now my points are reversed. The 135 is the 45, my highest pitch right there. I let the nose drop. My nose cuts through the horizon at my 90 degree point. I let the nose drop. 
Uh, my 135 is the lowest pitch right there. And I slowly bring the nose back to the horizon. I'll keep my bank coming slowly. Try not to exceed about 30 degree bank. And I roll out on the west heading that I started with right there. So I'll finish my west heading. I'm close to 90 knots V here right there. I'm at about 2,500 on my altitude. So that's how you do the lazy eight. Uh, it's basically just climb, descend for 180 degree, then another climb, and then descend for the second 180 degree uh, turn. So a few of the common errors for this maneuver is basically ineffective planning. So if you notice in the beginning, when I was setting up, uh, kind of like picked, uh, a couple of points, and then I tried to set the aircraft up, and I missed those points. So, you know, you really want to plan effectively and make sure you have your points picked, you know, config the aircraft for your cruise, your altitude, and your maneuvering speed. So once you once you plan properly, it's gonna be easier to perform the maneuver. So the final uh, common error is like the improper use of the points, the 45 degree point you pick, the 90 degree point, and the 135 degree point. If you don't use them correctly, that's another common error that a lot of people face. So just to highlight the 45 degree point, you're supposed to have your highest pitch during the maneuver and about 15 feet of bank. And then at the 90 degree point, the nose is supposed to be cutting through the horizon. And at the 135 degree point, you're supposed to have your lowest pitch. So those are the main things you're supposed to use those points for. And uh, another, the final one is using the instruments and actually perform the maneuver you do put maneuver a lot better when you look outside and use the reference point side so those are some of the main common errors that um, affects a lot of people for the uh, lazy eights but yeah guys if you like the video if you got any value from the video make sure you like and uh, subscribe to the channel I have more content coming more educational content coming. and yeah guys like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching